Hi there, welcome to Isabel Explains. In this video, I will show you why 0.67 is 67 over 100 and not 2 thirds. Let's go. I'm making this video because a student asked me, hey, can you please make a video about converting 0.67 to 2 thirds? And I actually explained to that student in another video that you can check out on this card above that 0.67 is not 2 thirds. 0.6 repeating is two thirds. And I explain on that video how to go from 0.6 repeating to two thirds. Now, what is 0.67? Very simple. Similar to what we did in the other video, we're going to make x equal to 0.67 because the x is going to represent the fraction that that 0.67 is going to be. Remember that fractions are just numbers, so they still have to abide by the same rules of multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. So we have that 0.67 is equal to x, so what we want to do is we want to get rid of that decimal point. And the way that we're going to do that here is we're going to multiply by 100. Why 100? Because for every zero that you multiply by, what you're really doing is you're moving the decimal point forward. So I want to multiply by one and one, two zeros. So 100 X is going to be equal to 67. Now, just like with any other equation, we have a number that's being multiplied by the X. So the way that we get rid of it is by dividing it. So we divide by 100 on both sides. And we get that x is equal to 67 over 100. And since 67 and 100 don't really have any common factors, as a matter of fact, 67 is prime, which means it has no factors other than one and itself. That is it. That is the simplest form of that fraction. If you found value out of this video, make sure to hit like and subscribe. I left a worksheet for you on the video description. And make sure to share this video with your classmates. I hope I can help them too. I'll see you on the next video.